we started the game really bright. We played our way into trouble uh, once, I think, with just a, a sloppy pass and um, you know the, the pitch being a little bit slow in the pass and I think maybe caught one or two of us out at times today, but um, we're causing them a lot of problems in the wide areas, particularly on Glen Middleton's side, putting you know really good deliveries into the box. The only criticism um, might be, you know, the the movement within there. You know, I felt we could have gambled a little bit more across that near post at times. We spoke about that at half time, and I felt, um, you know, we'd done a little bit better in those situations in the second half. I would like us to tidy it up a little bit at the top end of the pitch. You know, that's something that we'll continue to work on during the week in training and continue to try and improve when we get into those dangerous areas in the opposition penalty box and just maybe just make better decisions at those key moments. I think after about maybe 20-25 minutes where we were in control then the game became a little bit scrappy in the middle of the first half um, and then it kind of petered out into a you know nil-nil at half time but defensively I thought we were we were excellent all afternoon you know I thought the structure and the shape of the team out of possession was excellent as I said Air United never really troubled the goal all that much apart from a couple of mistakes that we made ourselves for the majority of that second half, we were in complete control. You know, um, Air United hit us on the counter attack a couple of times, but nothing that came to any real dangerous opportunity. You know, delighted obviously with us getting the goal in the end. It was uh, getting a little bit frustrating for everybody. The uh, the rain never stopped pelting down all afternoon, and the pitch did become a little bit heavy as the game went on. But um, you know, we'd all have preferred a more comfortable afternoon in terms of a, a two or a three nil, but. You know, we'll take those um, one nils all day long. You know, Kai has really um, got the bit between his teeth at the moment. Um, you know, his all-round contribution. Of course, people will look at the goals and look at the assists that he's had. I think that's ten now for the season goals-wise. Um, but his overall work rate and attitude uh, for the team when we don't have possession of the ball, his energy levels are incredible. Look, today was all about the three points. You know, sometimes there's games where the result is uh, is more important than the performance, um, and today was probably one of those afternoons. Um, and yeah, I think we've all got to be satisfied with that. We're still unbeaten in the league. I think that's 14 games unbeaten, only conceded six, scored in excess of 30, and back where we want to be, which is top of the table. The players have been exceptional. As I said, 14 games unbeaten. We can only control what we can control. You know, what Wraith Rovers or any other team in the league do, then good luck to them. You know, our, our main focus is on doing the best that we can do. We've got a lot of faith and a lot of belief in this group of players. And if we can perform to the level that we have performed that up to now, consistently from now to the end of the season, then, you know, we'll, we'll be right up there. There's no doubt about it.